Well, good evening and welcome back. You can see we got some uh, chicken wings on the menu tonight. Uh, I bought these. These were the full wings, and I do what I do to them pretty much all the time is I cut them apart into the, uh, you know, one day I'll think of the name of it, but it's like the drumette and the wing or whatever you want to call it. And uh, what I went ahead and did is I, I went ahead and did about a, a two-hour dry brine, just cut them up, put them on this drying rack, a little bit of table salt on both sides and threw them in the fridge for a couple hours, and then uh, pulled them out, sprayed them all down, some of this Crisco spray, and then the uh, the rubber we're using tonight. This is just in a different bottle, but we're using the uh, the Plowboys Yardbird Rub, and uh, we're gonna do these in a Weber 26 inch kettle, and we're gonna use the Vortex. I haven't used the Vortex on a 26 inch. I've used the Vortex on the 22 incher. Wings came out great. I'm expecting the same results here. But uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna do about half of these in this uh, Hooters wing sauce, Honey Thai. I like trying new sauces and rubs and stuff, and then the other half I'm just gonna leave plain. So uh, besides that. Got nothing else, so I will see you down at the Weber kettle. Alrighty, so we are down at the 26 inch Weber kettle. Just put the wings on. Before I open it up and give you a peek, I'll just give you a, a look at the the grill dome temp, well over 500. Uh, yeah, you can see she's smoking away. What I got going on is there we go. There's the wings. I got a chunk of applewood right in the middle of the vortex. I got the vents on the bottom all the way open and the vents on the top all the way open. And I'm also monitoring a uh, grill grate temp on the uh, the outside, just so I got some kind of idea where it was at. It was at about 350 before I opened it up and it was still climbing. So uh, besides that, I think, go ahead and close this thing down. Let it go for about 25 minutes and uh, I'll check back in. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, so we're about 25 minutes in. Give you a quick peek. There be the wings and uh, yeah, starting to brown up pretty nice. Uh, what I think I'm gonna go ahead and do is uh, probably just go for like another 15 minutes and uh, I'll probably come back and I'll sauce, you know, about half of them. So. We'll pick back up and give you a peek once I do that. Alrighty, so the wings have been on for a total of 35 minutes. Give you a quick peek. Just sauced up about half of them. See the ones over there, and some of the drumsticks over there I sauced up. The other ones I'm leaving plain. So now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is let these go for about another 10 minutes. Pull them off, put them back on that drying rack, which I washed and cleaned. Let them cool off for a little bit, and uh, I will pick back up when it's time to eat. So we'll see you then. Alrighty, so we are back for the last time today, and it is time to eat, and I'll just stay right now. Wow, do these smell good. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go over these cook times. You might need a pen and a paper for this one. Probably not. Uh, use the Vortex, bottom vent all the way open, top vent all the way open. My grill, uh, surface temp, like right at the grate, never really got above 400. So what I did was like 35 minutes, I dipped the ones in sauce, let them go for another 10 minutes. So a total of all these wings, it took 45 minutes with the Vortex. So let's go ahead and do a taste test. This is one of the glazed wings, and I'm sure I'm gonna burn my mouth. They've only been sitting for like five minutes. Okay, go ahead and try one of the plain ones. Okay, well, first comment, I do not hate either one of them, <laughs> but uh, I like the plain ones better. I'm not a big fan of that teriyaki honey glaze. Uh, I mean, they're good. I mean, I'm gonna eat them, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna eat them, but uh, I like them plain better. So besides that, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Hope this video helped you guys and girls out. Have a good night and uh, we'll see you next time.